This model from WSI comes in distinctive Mammut packaging, and the photo on the box is the truck that has been modelled. Inside the box the packaging is fairly typical for WSI, it's factory sealed, and there's a clear lid which encloses the model in an expanded polystyrene tray. Fortunately the packaging seems to work alright because there's no shipping damage on this model. In the box is a metal shipping container, the Actros flatbed truck which is best carefully lifted out rather than being thrown against the wall, and also in the box is a couple of small bags containing some parts, and as this is a Mammut model there's also a collector card. The other thing that's hiding is an instruction sheet, and that contains all you need to know about the Fassi crane. It's a generic sheet so it also covers a fly jib, but that's not included with this model. To put the model in a display pose there's a couple of parts to fit, and one is a lifting beam for the Fassi crane and that clips into place on top of the headboard. The other thing to add is the 20 foot shipping container. That can just be placed on the deck but it's highly likely to move about, so the real container would be able to be locked to the deck at the corner points. Well the good news is WSI have produced a clever bit of modelling, and there are small plastic pins which fit into the locking points on the deck. They are very small parts but they're not too difficult to get put in place correctly. The pins have a little upstand piece which is designed to fit into the bottom of the container. So let's go ahead and give it a try and put the container onto the deck. And the system works really well because it does hold the container locked in position and it doesn't slide about. There's another part supplied with the model and it's a small crank handle but it's not clear what it's for. It looks like it might be some kind of pin for the towing hitch but there's not enough space to actually fit it. If you think you know the answer write it down on a postcard and send it somewhere. The chassis is very detailed, at the rear the suspension is nicely modelled, and the gearbox is visible at the front. The lights and mirrors accurately modelled a real truck, and it has a realistic number plate. The Mammut graphics are really sharp and it includes a fleet number on the cab. The flatbed deck has got a plastic replica timber surface and it's nicely detailed. The box is under the deck and the wheels are smart, and at the rear the lights have plastic lenses. The outriggers have a very good profile with lots of tiny graphics. The pistons are smooth sided and the pads have a nice shape. The tanks at the bottom of the fascia are modelled well and it's a slewing motor with a hydraulic hose. Each of the boom sections has got a realistically thin profile and there's a metal hook at the end. There is a winch drum modelled on the boom but it's non-functional and has tape wrapped around it. The container is a nicely modelled part because it's metal and fairly heavy. At one end the silver door bolts have been painted really well, there's sharp graphics and the corrugated sides have been modelled realistically. Mammut is a famous Dutch lifting and heavy haulage specialist, and its black and red colour scheme is well recognised across the world. It runs its own merchandise store and has had a scale model programme for many years. The models are produced in strictly limited editions and are very popular with collectors. Over time it's possible to build up a whole diorama of Mammut coloured models, and they also tend to keep their value well. Out on the cranes etc, Alto Snellweg and the truck rolls along quite well. Picking it up, the rear wheels are on common axles, but they're not fixed, there's a degree of float to represent suspension. At the front, the steering is modelled realistically, but the compromise is that the range of movement is limited. But with some gentle force, you can get the steering to pose reasonably well, and it will roll along. The other expected feature on the model is the tilting cab, and that lets you see the detailed engine underneath, which has got a number of differently coloured components. This cab also featured auto shut. We've arrived on site so let's set up the Fassi loader crane. The front outrigger just pulls out and here the leg has been pinned in the upright position. The pin is a tight fit so it's being eased out with a screwdriver and then you'd better have some tough nails. The leg can then be rotated into its operating position and let's extend the free stage outrigger out to its maximum. One really good little detail is that there's a separate pad and spreader plate for each of the legs. They don't clip together so you just have to position the leg into the pad. At the rear the outriggers extend in just the same way and you can lower the piston if you want by unscrewing it. For the rear legs there's a slightly differently shaped pad to use. Once all the stabilizers are out the fassy crane can be unfolded. The hydraulic rams which control the unfolding are stiff which is good. 
but they're also a little bit stiff and jerky. Once the boom is unfolded a bit you can rotate it and fortunately that's quite a bit smoother. The telescopic part of the boom is made up of a number of separate sections. They are made of thin wall metal and extending them is easy because they're really well engineered. Each section has its own little hydraulic cylinder and it all fits together nicely and works well. There's also enough friction so that when the boom is put upright it can hold a pose. With that done it's quite an impressive model so let's get the tape measure out. And to the top is about 17 inches or 44 centimeters. If you take the container off there's another option to display the model and for that you can install metal deck posts. A large number are provided and for the most part they fit well into the holes provided although you might need to just straighten them up a little bit. Once that's done you can then put some alternative loads on. So here we've gone to the cranes etc yard and got a large hook and also a set of spreader plates. So overall there's a nice variety of posing possibilities with this model. If you're that way inclined you can also show it with a giant mammoth pen. In summary this is a highly detailed model and it's got some very good functionality too. It's a limited edition of 1000 models and it looks really good in the black and red colours of Mammut. As an example of a heavy haulage truck, it's outstanding.